So Lizard Labs, or as you may know them as the ETH Lizards, have the public sale of their coin coming out sometime in Q3 of this year. We don't have an exact date, but we know it's coming soon. And this is the Liz coin. So in this video, I'm gonna show you seven ways on how you can get your hands on some of this Liz coin. And then I actually have a little calculator down here that we're gonna get into for possible value you can get from the Liz coin airdrop going to the ETH Lizards holders. So I just wanted to say thank you to Lizard Labs for sponsoring this video. And if you're a fan of the ETH Lizards, you know, Lizard Labs, or just Web3 Gaming in general, then make sure you're subscribed to this channel because I'm going to be making a ton of content around this topic. But let's get into it. So for Lizcoin, there's going to be a 10 billion coin max supply. The public sale that's coming soon is going to be 2% of that total supply. It's happening in Q3 of this year, 2024. And this hasn't been confirmed yet, but I believe I heard in, in an AMA that the coin is going to launch at a valuation of 40 million. Whenever that does get confirmed, I'll definitely put it out on X or Twitter. But it kind of makes sense. The seed round was sold at a 20 million valuation. The public sale is usually around twice as much as the seed round sale. So while not confirmed, I think we're gonna get that 40 million valuation, which means each one of these Liz tokens are gonna to be valued at 0 0.004 of a dollar. This public sale is gonna be held on a centralized exchange. It hasn't been released which exchange this is, but that's the plan. They don't want to just launch on a DEX. So you'll be able to get this, I believe on day one, from a centralized exchange or a decentralized exchange. So moving on, two and three, put these together. So if you're holding an ETH lizard, whether that be a Genesis lizard or a Venture lizard, you're going to be getting an airdrop of Lizcoin. There's going to be three of them that come out. The first one is different from the second and third. So for the first one, all you have to do is be holding an ETH lizard. And around the time of the public sale, you're going to get a share of 4% of the total supply of Lizcoin split between those, those V1 and V2 ETH lizards. So that means each ETH lizard that you're holding is going to get about 77,670 Lizcoin. And as we get towards the end of this video, I'll show you what that means in dollar terms. Now for the airdrop two and three, when this happens is unknown. If I were to guess, I would say we were probably looking at about six months down the road and then maybe a year down the road. But again, that hasn't been released yet, so we don't know. Now each of these two airdrops right here are going to be getting a share of 2% of the total Lizcoin. So the same ETH lizards, the Genesis and Ventures. But this airdrop is only going to go out to those who are staked. Now currently, I think we have around 70 to 75% of the ETH lizard staked, which is great. And if we stay around that same number, we're looking at approximately 52,000 Lizcoin per lizard if you are staked. And again, I'll show you what that means in dollar terms towards the end of this video. So next is going to be the community airdrop. This is another 4% of the total Lizcoin supply. This is going to be at or around the public sale as well. And this is what they're calling programmatically selected. And they're going to have more details soon. So basically, they're not just throwing an airdrop out to everybody. They're going to strategically get Lizcoin in the hands of people who are in the Web3 gaming space, who believe in Web3 gaming, who are more likely to hold and possibly even buy more rather than just get this airdrop and sell. So if I were to speculate on this, because we don't know for sure, if you're participating in, in any of the other projects that ETH Lizards is partnered with, there might be a good chance that you get some of this airdrop. Because again, they're choosing people that they know believe in this and are more likely to stick around. All right, so moving on. The fifth way is staking rewards. So 10% of the total Lizcoin supply is going to be used for staking rewards. Staking should be available, you know, right after the public sale, if not right on day one. And this will be going for 36 months. And the earlier you're participating in these staking rewards, the higher yield you're going to get. And then over those 36 months, the yield will get a little smaller as time goes on. And this is something I'm really excited with because I did this with ILV and Alluvium, and it's been a great way to stack some coins. So I'm definitely going to be doing this with my list coin as well. So number six here, gaming rewards. So 5% of the list coin supply is going to be going to rewards. Now this is something that's technically already started with Battle in the Beyond. There was leaderboard rewards for Battle in the Beyond. I myself, earned some of this C Liz, which will be converted to the Liz coin at the public sale. But this will be used for games that come from Lizard Labs themselves, tournaments, and partnership activations. And then the last one we have here is revenue rewards. So this is something that's not coming right away. We don't know what percent of revenue we're going to get. But to my understanding, this is similar to Revdis from ILV in Alluvium. This is not going to start until after the staking yield ends. So we're looking at 36 months, you know, three years from public sale before this even gets started. But it is something that's nice to know is coming. And this is to keep everyone incentivized to continue staking even when those staking rewards end. And the revenue they're going to be looking to distribute is going to be from games, trading fees, merch, partnership fees, and more. So similar to how Alluvium right now, their, their staking yield is just about to end because it's been about that 36 months. And Revdis is about to start. In Alluvium, that kind of just came as a coincidence. But for Lizard Labs, that's planned. Now, there's a lot more going on with the tokenomics. 
and I'm not gonna get too deep into it in this video. I can definitely do another video on that. And if that's something you wanna see, make a comment down below. But just to have a little fun with this before I end this video, I made a little calculator here just for some predictions on what you might be getting in a Lizcoin airdrop if you're holding these ETH lizards. And before I even get into the value you might be getting out of the Lizcoin airdrop, don't forget that the ETH lizard themselves have value and you're gonna be getting two elemental lizards in an airdrop at some point as well. So again, I'm using that 40 million valuation just it's, the, it's my best guess right now. So at the public sale, if you're holding one of these ETH lizards, you'll be getting about 77,670 of these Liz coin. At that valuation, you're looking at about $310. Now, if you have this staked during the second and third airdrop, you could be looking at another $208 on that valuation. But keep in mind that the second and third airdrops could be, like I, like I said, could be six and 12 months down the road in the middle of a bull market. So as you can see right here, not financial advice, but if we wanted to speculate a little bit and say, by the time that second airdrop comes maybe we're at an 80 million dollar valuation and it doubles and we're looking at at over 400 dollars for that next airdrop and then another six months down the road maybe it doubles again and we're looking at 832 Lizcoin for that airdrop now many out there watching this might say that this is that these are very conservative numbers i just threw out here but that's already over 1500 dollars and if you look at the floor price of an eth lizard right now i think we're under 1500 dollars and let's play around with this scenario even more say you get these airdrops and you don't sell them right away and you wait till they're all priced at that final at that 4x you could be at about almost three thousand dollars which right now i think could buy you three eth lizards and then just to be a little transparent i'll show you what i'm working with right now i'm currently holding seven eth lizards and i have four of them staked and my plan is to hold at least four of these for a while and i may choose to stake more of those but currently this is what i'd be looking at if we get a 4x i could be getting almost nine thousand dollars in that first airdrop another thirty three hundred in the airdrop two and three for fifteen thousand dollars you know plus an elemental lizard airdrop i'm not 100 percent sure if that has changed at all with some of the updates but if we're looking at two of those airdrop to each le each eth lizard and i hold on to all of these i could be looking at at this fifteen thousand dollars on top of 14 elemental lizards on top of whatever price the actual eth lizards are themselves so again i want to make clear that this is not financial advice this is just educational content and if you wanted to kind of work with some numbers that you think might be more accurate yourselves then go ahead but we bring this back down to that 40 million valuation and it still looks like some pretty exciting numbers to me. So like I said, this video is sponsored by ETH Lizards and I'm gonna be making more of these as time goes on and I'm gonna need some help from you. What do you wanna know about ETH Lizards? or Lizard Labs, the whole ecosystem. Do you wanna know more about the elemental lizards, more about the partnerships, more about the, the portfolio? Whatever it is you wanna know about Lizard Labs, just let me know, I'll do the research and I'll put out a video for you. Again, subscribe, like this video, follow me on X, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.